<laughs> this is this fits in well with that question. Yeah. Um, I think um, it, it's sort of a broad follow-up question to Sins of the Wreckers. Um, one of the things I really like about IDW and both of the Wreckers books is um, the fact that they get to explore a lot more of Autobot shared responsibility for the war, and it's not just like, oh, Decepticons are just the evil yeah. forces that yeah. have done all of these evil things. Um, but a lot of the way that the series is tend to look at that is just focusing on problematic things that Prowl does. Yeah. And I guess what I'm wondering is, do you think that we'll ever get to see a bigger picture of Autobot responsibility? And is there a particular way you would be interested in? I, yeah, I, I don't have a specific story, but I think, I think Sins is a bit more on that because it's showing, like, you know, like Roadbuster is kind of committing war crimes, essentially, you know, like they're, they're uh, like everyone in it has kind of done something like so that that's quite a, 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 you know that's he's not a very odd about like mm -hmm. thing to do hubcap sort of sells everyone down the river you know like because he thinks it's the right thing to do but it's it's so yeah there's definitely something I definitely want to explore and the whole like, yeah the, the the shared responsibility I was trying to say it like, earlier on but you put it better shared responsibility versus personal responsibility and how I think the uh, worry that sometimes personal responsibility is all that we kind of have because like this dumpster fires and stuff like that, you know, like, I, you know, I, I, I don't think we're all screwed because I think we, we have it in us to be good people and if we individually are good people, that's, that's, the, that's the, hopefully the reality we build for ourselves and, and then it knocks on and stuff like that. But it just, it just sometimes feels so hopeless, doesn't it, on a larger scale to kind of have that effect. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think I want to tell that story anymore though because of the stories that I have told Friday W have been always usually quite dark and quite murky in as much as kind of, you know, like, Spotlight Cop, Cop is killing Autobots, essentially, you know, like, it, it's, you know, Roadbuster killed Autobots, is, what is the difference, you know, and, um, you know, like, Wreckers, obviously, and, like, Megatron, there's so much, like, duality, Spotlight Megatron going on, like, you know, and uh, I, I, there is a part of me that thinks that, that there's a time to, like, I'm saying about, like, saying, that we have it in ourselves to be good people, and that's the thing, I always feel weird espousing this, you know what I mean, because you feel like such a, like, a cult leader or something like that, but it's a, <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah, like, don't worry about the effect that we're going to have on the bigger picture and stuff like that. Start with yourself. Start being a good person. And um, I, I, there's not, there hasn't been enough of that in Transformers in general for the last few years. And it's been a really interesting ride. But I think that I think we almost need to see it again. I think we need to see like the good guys being good guys. Do you know? I think we need to see, you know, like that doesn't mean that they can't be flawed characters at all, but, and, or, or that it's not a struggle for them. Do you know? Like with Springer, it's a struggle. With Impactor, it's a struggle, and he's not winning. Do you know, like he's he's falling down, the, and it's it, it's it's not even um, necessarily morals. Essentially, that's kind of dragging Impactor back to a warlike way. It's also kind of he likes he doesn't know any he doesn't know how to be anything else. Do you know what I mean? That like he Impactor, Impactor is being seduced by violence again. Impactor has known only violence. Impactor lives through violence and, and expresses himself through it. Like he's he has got no compunctions about doing these bad bad things. And he would find himself kind of like, you know, I guess that's a comfort thing. He's, he's challenged by being, you know, be better and he's not winning that challenge. You know, he's not beating it. So uh, I don't know if I'm getting off the track here. But I think, I think that, the, that, that if I was to write another Transformers story, I would like to have it have characters in it that were um, at the very least clearly trying to lead very, very good lives. And it's not necessarily about them focusing on the negative aspect of their life. Because I think that story is being done, and not as in done as let's not do it anymore, but other writers are doing it. And so, you know, like James, James does it a lot, and John does it a lot, you know, and like I'm not them. And so if, you know, and, and Mary Grade, you know, like, so if I was writing another Transformers comic and it was to sort of sit alongside the other three Transformers comics that were running at the time, the, the, you know. Yeah, a different angle on yeah, the story. Yeah, to stand alone and not, not not ignoring it, but picking a new focus because it kind of sort of when Wreckers when Last Stand came out, it was kind of like, ooh, ooh, you know, uh, layers, you know, <laughs> a, little, a little bit, you know, it was sort of like, but oh, there's there's bad things going on here. There's like, you know, there's there's Merc uh, in the Autobots, you know, and um, uh, but we we kind of know that. Like, I mean, w one of the cases, in fact, is that like we had I had Prowl killing Ostaros in one of the original drafts, and John was like, yeah, that's cool, but we know Prowl's a bad guy. You know, like it's kind of you know, the the trick was to show that there was good, there was a Prowl saved Ostaros. You know, the Prowl, or at least the very least, it was like that was the line. He was like, look, I'm not going to kill what was essentially a baby. You know, 
that you know I'll, I'll farm him out and have him adopted by you know Cup or Impactor, you know. But I'm not I'm not going to be the one. I'm not that guy yet. But that's a sign that Prowl has it in him, you know, and does have it in him to be sort of like, ah, oh, screw it, I'm an Autobot, you know, like it's 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 kind of not not what I do, or not, you know, or I've done enough bad things. Let's try and put a few on this pile, you know. Mm -hmm. Is any of this making sense or or, or answer really? Yeah, I mean, I think that I really appreciate that movement in your goals for comics. Yeah. I think that the issue I have yeah. is to do sort of with like the way that Megatron's trial, for example, yes. is framed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here are all of the Autobot claims of Decepticon war crimes. Yeah. I know it's sort of framed yes. in a particular way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then on the other side, we have, here's Prowl. Mm -hmm. We know he's a bad guy. Yeah. We kill a baby, mm. which is sort of the opposite side, but it's only just Prowl. Yeah. So yeah. that's sort of where my issue is. I guess, yeah. It is, it is, yeah. I mean, for me personally, I, I get to work with small casts, I suppose, you know. And so it's, it, I honest, like, I honestly don't know. Like I said, if I think if I was working with a bigger cast, time to go. Okay, you're getting very close. Uh, working with a bigger cast, uh, you maybe there, there should be more doing it. But then, I, like, I think I almost think that it's not that I, I, I definitely think that story should be told, and I definitely want to read that story. But I think to test myself as a writer, of like. Are the Autobots a bit dodgy? Yeah, they are, but we know that, so because I've written those stories, like, you know, can the Autobots be sort of aspirational? Let's try and write that story for a while and see how it goes. Chances are it'll be boring. <laughs> but, uh, but it's a really good question, and we should definitely talk about it more. But thank, thank you, yeah.